Hey everybody, I'm Will with r and Tire Express, and we have the honor today of having Miles Kovacs in our studio, hanging out with us. Listen, if you've been around the business for any time at all, you know who this guy is. Named Newsweek's top 10 big thinkers in big business of the 21st century, SEMA 2020 Person of the Year. Miles, so excited to have you here with us today. Thanks for having me, it's awesome. Now, like I said, if, if you've been around wheels and tires or just culture in general, you know who this guy is. But for those of you who don't, give them a little bit about your companies that you've co-founded and worked with and what you've done. You know, so I, I founded Dub Magazine with a couple of partners uh, 20 years ago, you know, and uh, just sold that off last year, but learned so much about marketing and products and things like that. I mean, you know, we did the second largest sweepstakes in Pepsi history, where we gave away 70 cars in 70 days for two years. Our Dub logo was on 1.5 billion bottles of Pepsi for two years. Um, we did the Midnight Club Dub Edition video game. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Oh yeah. We Very sold 9.6 million units. Dub City Diecast Toys sold 25 million. You know, I mean, it, it's it's just been a whirlwind with that, but a lot of people don't know that I'm a wheel designer. I've been designing wheels since I was 16 years old. I have over 200 plus wheels in the marketplace. That's crazy. We talked about earlier the 200 plus designs that you've done. I mean, that's that that, that alone is a feat in itself. Tell me a little bit about how you kind of got into the design of wheels. You know, I got kicked out of high school, I was 16 years old and um, just struggling. I couldn't really read and write real well. Mm -hmm. I'm a street kid from East LA. So I learned how to read more by reading Lowrider magazine and kind of really being into the culture and the fashion and, right. and things like that. So I got kicked out of school, went to continuation school in high school and started uh, working as a local, you know, basically a delivery driver, mm -hmm. had a lot of street knowledge. So I, when I was out there, a lot of the shops would say, hey, what do you think about this wheel? And I say, no, if you change it, you do this and that, or hey, this and that. Got to the point where I'd pull up at these sh uh, shops or even factories, wheel and tire distributors and factories, and they're like, hey, I'll trade you knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how this business works, how it's made, how much money you, know, you charge, all these things, yeah. in exchange for you to sit down with our designers and marketers to talk about kind of what's going on that you see in the streets. That's so incredible. I started doing that and I did my first wheel design at, I was 16. Wow. And then just fast forward, then I invented the SpinTech, which was a spinning wheel adapter. Um, you know, Lorenzo Wheels was my company as well and um, launched that. And then now our current wheel companies are TIS and Dropstars Wheels. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so, incredible. Let's talk a little bit about TIS, right? So tell us a little bit about the story of TIS, how it came about and the evolution of the product. So TIS was actually 20 inches strong. And it started during the whole dub kind of evolution when we're doing MTV Cribs and all the MTV shows and everything mm -hmm. else and the magazine and the National Car Show Concert Tour with dub. And, you know, we're launching the Chrysler 300C with the dub edition. And we're like, we need some, you know, dope wheels to put on it. So we launched TIS specifically for that mm. and uh, 20 inches strong. But what's really interesting is we launched doing Chrysler 300s and uh, Escalades and things like that. And then the brand in 2011 shifted mm. to off-road and lowered cars and truck SUV. Mm -hmm. And then um, two years ago, we made the decision to take it 100% off-road. Right. So it's kind of rare to see some of that maybe grew up urban yeah. and then kind of going now to the truck market. <laughs> TIS. Talk about somebody's on the fence. They're like, oh, I don't know. Do I do I want this wheel? Do I want what makes this wheel different than others out there in the market right now? You know, I think from a styling standpoint, everything is black and mill, black, you know, this and that. And right. every you know, rims kind of everyone's kind of cannibalizing each other, right? I, I think it really comes back to brand identity. Mm. It's kind of like what's the difference between a real Louis Vuitton and a fake one, right? <laughs> yeah. So people yeah. want to be associated with that brand because right. they think it's cool. Mm -hmm. So right now with that median age being so young, that 25 year old is saying, this is cool, I want it for my vehicle. Right. And it's transpiring out. And then a lot of the influencer and stuff we're doing with our big builds and SEMA. I mean, since we've been involved with SEMA for the last, you know, almost, 20 years, yeah. we had 150 vehicles on our, on our TIS wow. wheels there. So, I mean, we spend a lot of money in marketing and right. really understanding how to really take the market up. Our goal when we jump into whether it's a wheel company, a tire company or whatever products it is, mm -hmm. is to elevate that category. Right. Most people are just there to try to make money or take business from other people. Right. We're there saying, how do we elevate this category to make it sexier so more people will come in? So we're per trying to get people that are not even on the fence yet to the fence. That's awesome. Very cool. So 
So much we could talk about. So much about your story, your products. Way more to be told. We don't have the time today. Tell people where they can find you, where they can follow you and learn more about you and all your products. Yeah, so TISWheels.com, DropStarsWheels.com. We're on all the social medias as well. And, you know, just give us your feedback. I mean, the way I work is I'm looking for feedback so we can make, you know, better decisions and better choices on products and everything else going forward. Perfect. Miles, thanks so much for being here with us today. Absolute honor to have you. And if you'd like more information on these wheels and many more, you can find us at rnrtires.com. Thanks for watching this episode of Tread TV. If you'd like more information on how to care for your vehicle or your tires and wheels, make sure to watch our other videos. Or you can subscribe to our channel and ring the bell and never miss a single update.